Strive Unlimited is about an open world where you can meet and challenge online players either through user generated or predetermined challenges. Your objective is to earn money to acquire the most beautiful and desirable cars on the world. And Test Drive Unlimited 2, we've really capitalized on this basis, extended the core features and added new elements to really expand that car experience in a luxury lifestyle universe. Concerning the new island we've implemented in Test Drive Unlimited 2, we wanted something different from Hawaii, a bit um, more warmer Mediterranean island. We've implemented Ibiza. Um, it's about 380 square kilometers, 930 kilometers of roads. We've got different landscapes. You've got, um, you know, small villages, fields, forests, and deserts. And uh, what's really typical is that you got typical historical buildings and narrow roads. So it'll really be a completely different experience for players to discover. You'll be able to go to Hawaii using the Ibiza airport after you've leveled up in your global advancement. Um, the idea is that with Hawaii, we wanted players to really rediscover Hawaii in a new light. In Test Drive Unlimited 2, we wanted to include elements from the community feedback. So a lot of these elements, for example, have been the weather conditions or the day-night cycle. We've also implemented um, new elements uh, following the players' behaviors. Like, for example, uh, a lot of players just love to cruise around on the island, so we've implemented a way to reward players just for cruising around. Or, uh, for example, we've noticed that players just love to get off the asphalt road and just explore the environment. Well, well, we've added new all-terrain vehicles as well as specific off-road networks to really incite players to um, push that off-road aspect. We have integrated a new game progression where now you'll be able to progress through four different means, either through your collection aspects, your competition elements, the discovery aspects, or through the social uh, network that you can do. Test Drive Unlimited was the first game to be what we classified as the more experienced, the massive multiplayer online racing game. And in this version, we really pushed that aspect and extended it even to a higher level. What we did is we really pushed the, uh, the aspect of the open world, persistent world. We did also, we worked in terms of the connections between the players so that now players, when they meet up, they can always stay linked together throughout the game world. We've added new game modes that are linked to a new online gameplay, which is the cooperative experience. Um, we've also pushed the customization possibilities for players to really be able to have a unique identity in the online world. You will be able to um, customize your character as well. Um, you will have the possibility to change their clothing, change their hair, shoes, um, even the facial um, uh, composition. So customization is one of the key elements that we want to have in the game. One of the cooperative experiences you can have in the game is that you, uh, you can meet up with your friend inside your car, so two people team up inside the same car, and your co-pilot can send you directions to follow, either through direction icons or um, through voice chat. And this uh, cooperative mode, we call it the cooperative passenger mode. Concerning the other game modes like uh, cops, like in the first one, uh, we'll be keeping that um, to be revealed later on. We have some really nice stuff with cops in the game. The clubs is for players to be able to regroup together towards a common goal, like the principles of clans and MMOs. Um, you'll be able to create a club or join a club. So when you create your club, um, you can invite your friends or other online players you met to join the club. And between club members, you can either compete in challenges between each other to have fun, or compete in inter-club challenges uh, in order, uh, with clubs with the same level in order to win points and money. With these points and money, you'll be able to make, uh, attain your goal of making your club progress and earn recognition of your team skills. And that's not the only thing we have in the clubs. Uh, when you progress your club to the first level, you will actually be able to have a more luxurious setting. You can invite more club members to come in. But most importantly, you'll have access to a car garage where you will have access to very exclusive racing cars that are only available in clubs. In terms of the variety of cars that we'll have in Test Drive Unlimited 2, our objective is really to offer the most high-end licensed cars um, because this is like our, we want the most desirable and luxurious cars in the world. So the idea is that you will have classic cars, you will also have like asphalt cars with different categories, 
um, you will have like Italian cars and American cars and so when you will take um, into hand one of the cars each car will have its own personality would it be in its visual uh, model or in its um, the way you handle it so Test Drive Unlimited 2 is coming out from Eden Studios and Atari this fall on PS3, 360, and PC.